Mar-a-Lago, a member-only club in Palm Beach, Florida, was instantly brought under the spotlight since the beginning of this year. The club, along with many other likes of this, is a synonym for rich, wealth, and established aristocracy. With Trump's ascendance to presidency, it has now been added with some political flavor. In Palm Beach, Mar-a-Lago is a landmark. Marjorie Merriweather Post and her then husband Edward Hutton decided they wanted a grand house for ent to entertain their guests. They had other houses in Palm Beach, but they wanted something bigger and splashier. And they found this 17 acres that became known as Mar-a-Lago, which means Sea to Lake, and uh, then built their magnificent home there. With her fortune, Majori Post was one of the wealthiest women in the United States at the time. She lived in Mar-a-Lago her entire life until the year she died. The design there was lavish. The materials used for building the mansion were brought from Europe. It cost $7 million at the time. Interestingly, Post wheeled Mar-a-Lago to the U.S. government as a winter White House. With Mar-a-Lago, she did offer it to the federal government and they in fact did take title for a time, but the federal government decided that it was too much of a financial burden to take on, so they allowed it to go back to the family. There was a time when the estate was in the danger of being broken down. A developer made an offer on Mar-a-Lago and planned to divide it into different smaller mansions. The plan was vetoed by the local government, then came Donald Trump who purchased the estate and made it into a private club. Donald Trump saved the house, and one of the ways that he saved the house was by making it a private club. A house that big and a property that big and the taxes on something like that would have, could have eaten up an individual, and so he made it work by making it a private club. Oh, it is really a beautiful palace. It's a wonderful, you know. That's why he's won, President Trump has really won the respect is because he really, you, could, you know, I mean, everyone knows that he has a big passion for Mar-a-Lago. So that's a common interest, you know. So the community shares that passion for that local treasure. Now to get into this privileged group, you have to pay $200,000 and there is no guarantee. That was doubled from $100,000 before Trump's presidency. Trump has made several changes to the estate, but other aspects of the club are still the way they were almost 100 years ago, as with other clubs on the Palm Beach Island. Fundraising is a major part of Palm Beach's cultural community, going back a century. So basically from about November, to the end of April, we have nearly on a nightly basis here some gala going on somewhere. Think about Gilded Age. That is a lifestyle of Palm Beach. It is extravagant, carefree, traditional, and it is reminiscent of the days in the literature of early 20th century. When you refer to the classical Palm Beachers, they're wearing slippers, they're wearing, you know, blue jacket. There is really a Typical Palm Beach culture. Navy blue jackets and all different types of navy blue jackets became absolutely synonymous with Palm Beach. And it refuses to change. And the Preservation Foundation of Palm Beach exists to preserve the quality of life there. They're saying, we can afford to say no to having tall buildings. We don't need to have tall buildings. We want to have two-story and three-story buildings. We want lots of gardens. And so that's, it's expensive, I think, to be able to say to do that. For 100 years, Palm Beach remains as a resort destination. It is a converging place of wealthy people all across the United States. The luxury hotels, boutique shopping center, yachts, and golf courses speak a lot about the lifestyle there. The way you keep it, something exclusive is you limit the amount of it. So that's why Palm Beach um, has changed very, very little in nearly 100 years. Celebrities are not rare in Palm Beach. As a wealthiest community in the United States, it has been home to the family of Kennedy, Pulitzer, etc. 
Even as the president of the United States, Donald Trump, to many local residents, is just one of the Palm Beaches.